Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the input field. Um, I'm just going to press Ctrl and E to go into the script. This is the table we're going to be using. Um, you can see there's already uh, expressions made. This will make more sense now in a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes. So press Ctrl and E. And if we put input field, and we're going to choose this one here, which is input price. Just copy that. Uh, semicolon. So then, if we go and reload that now, that gives us the option within the the chart to actually change individual prices um, within the straight table. So if I click uh, Control and R to reload. You can now see the, the, the chart has changed. Um, if we go into expressions, this is just selling price, price difference, sales quantity. They're all standard expressions, except this one here. It's, if you put input sum before input price, I'm just going to show you um, data is coming from the price file. So you can see the input price are all set at zero. So if you go back into um, click view, now, as we hover over the, the first line there, you get a, a, an arrow pointing to the left. If we click on that arrow and then change the price, so you can see the selling price currently is at uh, five euro and fifteen cent. If we change that to five euro and twenty-five cent and press enter, you can see from that um, increase of ten cent on that particular product will give us you can see price difference ten cent the sales quantity is one shy of ten thousand this is obviously made up data for our demonstration purposes uh, sales amount based on the selling price and then sales amount after the price change which is this one that we've input here which gives us um added value of just shy of a thousand um, euros so again if you if you need to for your company if you need to I don't know generate additional fifty thousand euros per annum, one way of doing it is actually going in and, and making slight changes to the selling price of your products um, so that there's nothing too drastic. So for example, if you change this one from fourteen thirty to fourteen forty, let's say another ten cent, press enter. You can see now that we've added a value of almost two thousand and as we go down these uh, each particular price, say a twenty five, press enter, um say choose this product here, it's fifty five, eighty five, we change that to fifty six forty five, which is a a difference of sixty cent. Um you can see now the added value on those four products, those four price changes based on sales quantity um will actually generate an extra uh, almost nine and a half thousand euros um, so you can see a what if um, if you were to use what if analysis it would change the change the prices by a percentage so it could be one percent change on all products but with the um, input field it allows you to change prices on individual products and um, which gives you I mean you can make slight changes that the customer will barely even notice, but that could make a huge difference to your business. So, 21, let's say, it's at 21.18, so you can change it to 21.26, and then you're at the 10,288. So, the further you go down this list and make slight changes, like a couple of cents here and there, this number will increase based on the number of products. We've got almost 5,000 products here, so you can imagine. Um, if you need to start clawing back some money to, to to make your business more profitable, this is one way of doing it. Um, so again, I'm just going to show you in the input field, input price. This is the input price we're taking from this Excel spreadsheet, which is all set at zero. And then we bring it into Click View. You can then change it, um, and all of these other expressions will change based on that. So I hope that helps um, on input field and click view and I'll see you next video. Cheers guys.